um, solution uh, to the pandemic uh, continue, whether that's through a vaccine or, or treatment. And I'm absolutely delighted that the uh, biggest breakthrough yet has been made by a fantastic team of scientists right here in the UK, and I'm not really qualified uh, to pronounce on uh, this, uh, this drug and its, its effects, but I am proud of these British scientists, backed by UK government funding, who have led the first robust clinical trial anywhere in the world to find a coronavirus treatment proven to reduce the risk of death. And I'm very grateful to the thousands of patients in this country uh, who volunteered for the, for the trials. Thank you. Uh, th this drug, dexamethasone, can now be made available across the NHS. And we've taken steps to ensure we have enough supplies, even in the event of a second peak. I think we've broken some records. So in three months, we've enrolled over 11,500 patients. So this makes it by far the biggest clinical trial in the world. And we've been testing six different drugs. A couple of weeks ago, we declared an answer on hydroxychloroquine, showing that in hospitalised patients it doesn't work. And this week, we've got some news on dexamethasone, which, as we've heard, um, is a steroid drug. It's, it's an old drug. Um, some people would say it's a very boring drug. It's been around for 60-odd years. It's very cheap. Um, it costs pounds, um, and it, overseas it costs pennies. And so we closed that arm of the trial on Monday, the 8th of June, because we had enrolled more than 2,000 patients on dexamethasone, and we compared them to 4,000 patients who had standard of care. And what we saw was really quite remarkable. Um, so we've looked at different treatment groups, and the drug has a different treatment effect in different treatment groups. So in... In ventilated patients with COVID-19, the drug dexamethasone, so 10 days of treatment with that, which is a tablet or, or an injection, uh, reduces the risk of death by about 35%. In patients on the ward who require oxygen and have COVID, it reduces the risk of death by about 20%. That covers about 75% of patients in the hospital who will receive a mortality benefit from using this drug. There's another group of patients who don't require oxygen but have COVID, and we did not see a benefit in those patients. So it's not a drug that you would use in the community or in outpatients or in patients on the ward who didn't have breathing difficulties. But in patients with breathing difficulties who require oxygen or ventilation, it really is showing quite a significant effect. Um, and it's really important because the drug itself is very widely available. It's on almost every pharmacy shelf in every hospital. It's available throughout the world, and it's extremely cheap. So... We've looked at the numbers, and if we treat eight patients in intensive care with this drug, um, we'll save one life. And the total cost of treating all eight patients is only about £40. So this is really, really remarkable, and we're extremely pleased with this.